to look sexy. Learning how to look sexy is something that many women puzzle over. There's no denying that sexiness offers a lot of advantages. It gets you noticed, and people who get noticed have better chances at promotion, friendship, and connections. Attractive people often get a better deal. It's human nature. Likewise, it is human nature to take advantage of this bias. Sexy doesn't mean cheap, tawdry, or obscene. Sexy means attractive, lovely, and pleasurable. It doesn't have to cater to lust. It may be sensual without being sexual. If you can make this simple distinction, you're well on your way to maximizing your sexy potential. So how can you become sexy? 1. Hygiene and grooming are top requirements. There's no getting around the fact that a clean and put-together appearance is attractive. A neat, healthy-looking mane of hair, clear skin, clean teeth, well-kept nails, and clean clothes and footwear present an overall package that makes a good impression. As for body odor, bad breath, dandruff, each of these is a turn-off. 2. Enhance your best feature, whether it's a pretty face, a happy laugh, well-toned legs, or a nice behind. Emphasize what you've got. Do so not in an in-your-face kind of way, but subtly enough to get a foot in the door, so to speak. Your personality will then open the door the rest of the way. Any little detail that can attract and sustain attention should be utilized. This includes pretty makeup, learn how to put it on, eye-catching accessories, bold color if it suits your personality, sexy, subtle, but not overpowering scent, high heels. 3. Wear appropriate clothes. Sexy often brings cleavage, bare skin, and sheer fabric readily to mind. But usually, laying it all bare is counterproductive. When you bear too much, people get an impression of sluttiness, which is never sexy. A bikini is appropriate and sexy at the beach, but not at a formal dinner. A t-shirt and shorts are sexy at a casual family barbecue, but not at a wedding. You get the drift. Clothes that cling to curves, rather than bared skin and plunging necklines, are your best bet. It's always better to keep an air of mystery. Peeling off layers, whether of clothes or information, is sexy, as it engages all the senses and involves the excitement of discovery. 4. Be yourself. More specifically, the positive, friendly, interested side of you. We are all multidimensional persons. We have our bad sides and good sides, but there's no need to unleash our dark sides onto the world. There's a proper place for that. When you want to be sexy, it's time to show your positive side. So keep your whiny, snarky, bitchy side on a leash. If you're funny, show your humor. If you're sporty, artistic, or a bookworm, talk about your interests. You will do well to be wary of politics and religion, but there's no reason not to engage in thoughtful conversation. 5. Be comfortable in your own skin so that other people can relax around you. Once you can make people feel good about themselves, they will find you more interesting. From then on, it's only a short step to sexy. You have to know yourself really well and have the confidence to let your true self shine through. You may be a flamboyant fashionista or a shy wallflower, Either personality can be sexy in its own way. If you are an introvert and force yourself to be the life of the party, you may be able to pull it off and attract people, but at the end of the day, it will leave you feeling drained, and the people you attract may not actually like the real you. However, if you know yourself and what works for you, and carry yourself with grace, you will be sexy in the eyes of those who appreciate your qualities. No one is ever attractive to all people anyway. What you should do is figure out how to look sexy to the kind of people that matter to you. That is success. And success is sexy.